All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astro Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? All right, check it out. Today we got a 1996 Toyota RAV4, and what I'm going to do is show you how to replace the calipers, the front calipers, and brake hoses. Now check this out. The calipers are loaded cal calipers. And you're like, what the heck is a loaded caliper? I'm about to show you. Coming up on Astro Auto Repairs. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. What's up, you two boys and girls? My name is Jay Young. This is our dog, Bruh. B R U H. Like, what's up, Bruh? Uh, Welcome to the Astro Auto Repair. And me and bro, I gotta ask you one question. Can you dig it? Can you? Can you dig it? I think you can. All right guys, the first thing you wanna do is jack up your vehicle. This is very important. This, now I got this jacked up from the center bar, center support right there. And I got my jack stands up under it. Now, if you're on dirt, this is dirt and rocks like I am, you need a base on your jack stands. Now, you can see that one. I don't have one because I don't have it. I don't know what the heck why I don't have it. I don't know why. But this one, I got a block of wood up here. Two by ten. So that added su add support for that jack stand because without it, that jack stand will sink right into the ground. The car will come down. Um, luckily, I'm not going up under it, but you, you get the gist of it. This one, I don't have one, so what I'm doing, as I always do, I leave my hydraulic jack there just in case for added security. All right? Now, the first thing we're gonna do is get these get these ties off, and to get these ties off, you have five bolts. These bolts are nine, uh, 21 millimeter, or you can use 13 16 I advise using 21 millimeter, because 21 millimeter is, where is it, there it is. 21 millimeter is just a, light, a tad bit, uh, bigger than a 13 16 so it'll go up there and nice and snug the 13 16 will go up there but it'll be kind of tight and then it'll get stuck inside the socket all right so i'm using my 21 millimeter half inch drive shallow socket and i'm going to be using my half inch drive earthquake gun all right be right back all right guys we got the lugs off You might get this, the tires are rusted up here. But that's no problem. What you want to do is take one of your lugs, put them on there, a few turns. Then you want to go ahead and kick it. And let's hope that works. There you go. What's putting the lug back in? So you don't, because if you don't, usually sometimes you'll kick it and the tire, because you, wait a minute, let me show you. Sometimes, if you kick it like this, the tire will come off and pop, and pop you in the leg or hurt you. Oh, I see. So the lug keeps it, keeps it on there. Whoa. You got that civvy? Everything good? Yeah, she got that. Oh, man. These things it's look rusty. Yeah, what the heck? What the heck? All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's. Something to build some massive nest over there. All right, let's get our other tire off. Dang it. I'm looking at the lines up here because if these lines are rusty, we're looking at a, we're gonna be in some major problems here. Oh man, I ain't liking this. We're looking at that like like it is right there. Would you recommend rotors? Oh yeah, 100%. Definitely, definitely. This car been sitting for a long time. This definitely should have some rotors up there. But, um, oh well. Well, we know it should have rotors, but I mean, would you recommend You know what I mean. I don't know why you got to go ahead I'm and try I'm just saying to... it has rotors. You know what? Of course it should have rotors. I don't, I can't, I can't need another helper. This go is... ahead then. Try it. All right. I'm going to get the other tire off, and we're going to get right to it. Yeah, buddy. We'll be right back. 
All right, guys, let's do this. The first thing we're gonna do, cause we gotta, we're gonna be changing this hose and the caliper. This right here is gonna be your biggest problem right here. If this bolt is rusted up against that, that's gonna be your biggest problem. So the first thing you wanna do is get some WD-40. Spray it up there. And let's see if it is rusty. We're gonna go around here and take out, it's got a 10 millimeter line wrench. And what I'm gonna do is put the wrench on here. Man, this thing. Gonna make sure that wrench is all the way up there. Now, what we're gonna do is go ahead and try to loosen it. Oh man. Oh, we, we are, we're good to go, guys. Check that out. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, that's loose. Cool. We are looking good. Now, uh, uh, dang it. Dang it. Get off of it now. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Get off of it. <sighs> okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do, guys, is take. Oh, yeah. I'm too close? No, no, no. You good? No, you good. I don't want to yell that. What is the problem? All right. The next thing we're going to do is take our steering wheel, turn this wheel right here all the way to the left. And when we come back, we're going to show you what a loaded caliper is. We'll be right back. All right, guys, let's do it. Got our steering wheel turned all the way to the left. Now, here's the customer bought new uh, brake hose. This is what you call a loaded caliper. Usually, if you get a caliper, it's cool. Wow, look at that, man. Dang, that's pretty shiny. Usually when you get a caliper, the only thing you wanna get is this section right here. That's it, nothing else, just that section right here. But a loaded caliper comes not only with the caliper, it comes with the caliper bracket, and check this out, comes with brand new brake shoes, brake pads already there. Yeah, buddy. So that is going to be sweet. That's all we have to do is just slap that thing in there and we'll be good to go. Now we got some, what is it? We got clips here holding us in and we noticed one of these clips was, oh, one of these clips was out. So, dang it, man. They're going to make, make us go put the clip in. What the heck is up with that? Let's take this. Look at how thick those brake pads are, guys. Man, and you want to get brake pads, you want to make sure they have this little shim back here. That's an anti-squeal shim. Because believe it or not, without this, your brakes will squeal. Or then, you, if you don't have it, then you got to get that the brake, disc brake quiet. The spray to go on the back. But that's old school. We don't need that. Let's find out how this clip goes here. Alright. It goes like that. Into just like that. Okay, let's go reach down here and put our brake shoe back in. It's a pad. Brake pad, brake pad. Man, you know, you know, Sylvia? You know you're getting old when you're calling things shoes when they should be pads. <laughs> what the heck? Get your button in. There we go. We are good to go. Now, Check this out. We're gonna make we're gonna do this easy for ourselves. What we're gonna do is set the caliper up like this and take this off. Take this little plug off right here. Get our new brake hose. But we're gonna set this up right now before we even do that. Put it up on the car. And what is this? Oh yeah, here we go. We got a new bolt and everything. And you're gonna get new washers with the caliper, and you're gonna get new washers with the brake holes so you just save those now on these is very important because what happens is brake fluid goes through the line and inside of here you see a little bitty hole right on that tube you see a little bit of hole in there Wheel. inside inside oh, this oh I see it okay you see it <laughs> brake fluid goes through there and then you got a hole right here it goes through that hole and then out here into the caliper. So to stop it from coming out here and here, you got these washers, but they're not washers. These are actually gaskets. So what you gotta do is put one on one side, put the other one through the holes, then put the other one 
on this side and now we're going to sit here and put this on to the caliper now you notice this caliper right here got a little got the hole right here where you mount to and it's got a little hole right there for an alignment for that little pin right there so we put that pin line that pin up start our bolt through and connect it now what we're gonna do let's see what size this is Okay, we got a 12 millimeter. I'm going to my 12 millimeter 3 8 drive socket with my 3 8 drive ratchet. And what I'm going to do is turn the caliper upside down. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. Guys, make sure this thing is really, make sure it's kind of tight because if it's not tight, it will leak. So you want to make sure it goes till it stops. And you want to go ahead and push that a little bit more. Yeah, buddy. Done. See, that way, whoops, let's get this pad back in there. Now, that's all we have to do is unbolt it. Put it on. Make sure I got this right now. Dang it, did I put this on the wrong one? Dang it, can you believe? Unbelievable. I just looked at it. All right. Unbolt this. <laughs> we got the wrong hose. I, I did offer to look it up. Oh man, let's unbolt that. Let's get the other hose. Cause the way I, what I did, guys, was over here. You got it's held on by this little bracket right here. So what I did before, I, I lined it up right there. And wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Oh, no, no, no. My bad. I did get the right one. See? I did get the right one. What do you mean, see? I didn't say we were. You about to say, see, I told you. No, you did say. I see. I told I offered you. I offered to look it up for you. Well, I ain't you need to. I don't need that. If I don't need that. I don't need you, you to look it up. Have, if I had looked it up, you wouldn't be sitting here questioning it. Right? No, not right. Yes, right. All right. So, now we got that because it's lined up perfectly now. Thanks to me. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unbolt this caliper. Now you come around this side. This caliper is held on. Now we got two bolts right here, but we're not gonna take off that because we're not removing just the caliper. We're removing the bracket too. Inside here, there's two 17 millimeter bolts. One right there. Wait, 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 wait. Where? I got the socket Shoot. on it. Oh. No reason. I got it. One right there, and then one up under here. You, oh, did you see? see I was looking for the bottom one. One right there. Okay, and the other one's up here. Up there. So, okay. what okay. I'm doing, I got my 17 millimeter uh, half inch drive socket, and I got my little one inch, two inch, whatever. What is this anyway? Who knows? Two inch. That's one inch to be too small. Two inch wobble socket. Now wobble sockets are cool because see that how it's made. Like two inches. Don't make me get the measuring tape. Now check this out. The wobble socket is cool because you put the wobble socket up there, and then the socket can wobble. And do, you, do I have to get the measuring tape? What part is measured? From here to here. That's not two inches. What is it? That's one inch, maybe and Maybe up to here. Maybe up to here. Two inch, right there. No. That's two inch. No, it's not. Uh, guys, would you tell her it's two inch? Two inch. This is the two inch wobble extension. No. All right. See, I'm gonna. I, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Guys, let me look at the measuring tape. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see if Sylvia right. Let's see. Now, it's measured from there to that point to that point. That's two inches. All right. You were saying? Let me show him. <laughs> Is it two inches? Is it two inches? All right, we got a one inch, half inch drive wobble socket extension. The reason why I like wobble extensions is because it makes the socket wobble like it, when you put it on it. it. Let's keep it moving. We got to keep it moving. <laughs> Is it two inches? <laughs> no, it's one inch. Thank you. <laughs> 
You're a bully. Yeah, I'm the bully. Who You're went to get the girl. measuring tape? You're a bully. Who went to get the measuring tape? Because he thought he was so right. Yeah. All right, so. Got my one inch wobble extension with my 17 millimeter <laughs> socket. Half inch drive. I'm gonna go ahead down here. I'm gonna get the bottom one first. One. Two. <laughs> this whole thing's coming off with the rotor and everything. So, what I'm gonna do here. Why is that? Because it's stuck? Yeah. So I'm going to put two of the logs back on There's a little bit. Rotors. Yeah, they are. And then, sit here and... Can't handle it. Pull it! You know what? I'm going to get a screwdriver. But before I get a screwdriver, what I'm going to do is take off this bolt up here to take off the rest of that line. That'll look like a 12 millimeter also. So, let's go over here and see. Yes, it is. So I got my 12 millimeter 3 8 drive socket with my 3 8 drive ratchet. Let's go ahead and take that off. All right, get that out of the way. Put that bolt back in there so I don't lose it. And I'm going to get me a screwdriver. Be right back. All right, guys, there are two ways, actually, two ways of doing this. One, I can get a screwdriver. And, oh, it is kind of moving over there. I can pry it off, or what you could do, take your hammer, beat the caliper, so then it'll, it'll slide back. Yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, yeah, that didn't. It's still gonna slide back. So we're gonna go back to that screwdriver method. <laughs> Pop that off. Lean that to the side. Now, if you were doing brakes, you would want to keep your caliper up in the air. You don't want none of that tension to be on this brake hose. But we're not worried about that. So we, go, we can, we go, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, now, the next thing we're going to do. You know what, guys? Check this out. What we're going to do is take these rotors off. Because these have been sitting for a while. No, actually, it, it'll actually, it, it'll fit in there. Heck with it. It'll fit right in there. You know, what I want to do is bring these in more. Try to keep them still. Yeah. Now, we're going to take our caliper, our brand new loaded caliper and everything. And we're going to go ahead. And come back on the other side now. Now how come you didn't remove the hose already? On that? Yeah. Don't have to because we're going to place I'm, I'm going to just remove it from here. Yeah, but how right come there? you didn't do that? Because if, well, as soon as I take this out, brake fluid is going to start oh, to come out. Oh, I see. So I'm trying to get everything set up. So okay. we ain't, yeah, okay, we got it. I got it. All right. Now what we got to do is our cap, is our rotor got to slide right between here. Perfect. Now let's get our two 17 millimeter bolts. Start one on the top. Great. Start one on the bottom. Perfect. Let's tighten that up. Where's our 17 millimeter with our two inch extension? <laughs> really? <laughs> All right. Let's get those two bolts tightened up. Guys, you, know, you can do this if you want. You can take the rotor off, get a sandpaper, or get some kind of sander. And you can just look, take that off like that. But it's not really necessary because as soon as you go down the street and step on the brakes, it's going to, the paper pad's going to scrape that right off of there in no time at all. So you really ain't got to worry about that. All right, next thing we're going to do is set this over to the side. And our brake holes goes like this. So. Let's get our brake holes. Get it in there with that 12 millimeter bolt. And while we got that, we're going to go ahead 
and tighten that up. And that's not really tight, just as soon as it stops, just a tad bit more. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and change our brake hose, but the thing is gonna be fluid dropping out of here. But we, got, we are all, we're, we're gonna be doing this, having this apart in so little of a time that it ain't gonna have time to lose a lot. The very first thing we're gonna do, we got that loosened up already, we know that. So, what we're gonna do here, is actually, actually what I should've did, we got a 10 millimeter open wrench. Matter of fact, let me get one. Instead of using my line wrench now, cause I got my line wrench that broke it. We're gonna get that all the way out, and then we're gonna take this little clip and pop that out. Matter of fact, let's do that right now. Get our needle nose, vice grips, or you can just re use regular needle nose. Crimp it right there, wiggle it back and forth, take it right out, just like that. All right, let me get my 10 millimeter wrench and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got our 10 millimeter open wrench. It's gonna be a lot, dang it. It's gonna be a lot easier with this wrench. Must be the way you sit in. Last time I think you put the camera up under there. Yeah, and it was too dark. Oh. All right, guys, there we go. Pop that out of there just like that. You see the fluid coming down? So, now what we do, now this brake hose goes into this little bracket right here, and it's set that it goes in one way. So it locks into place. You want to make sure you have the there it go turned right so you can get that clip on it. What we're gonna do here is let's get this thing, get this line started. I would have thought it would be pouring. Another reason why it's not really pouring is because I have the cap on it. Now if I had to I see. So no air is getting through. Right. And now I got a problem where this thing is not, there we go. All right, I had to, that thing goes in one way. I had to make sure it was in there. So then I could take out a little clip and you can see the little line, the little groove right there. Gotta make sure it's up enough. I'll show you on the other, the old one. Gotta make sure it goes in. Put your gonna be better. Dang it, man, this thing. You know what, let me bring this line in more. Tighten this line up more so I can bring it up more. I am all the way to, to the top of this thing. I gotta loosen it up a little bit. Dang, we're holding that thing up there. You see this guys right here? And what we gotta do is pick it up enough to have that groove right there up in the air so we can get that clip right on it. But of course, this is not happening. What the heck? It's just two on each side. Alright, now let's go ahead and tighten this line up. Now it's going to tighten up, just tighten it up just to snug it with the opening wrench. Then we're going to go with the closed end and tighten it up more. And this is a hard time getting this thing on here before. Now I got to sit here and do it again. You know, this thing, gotta, why they got this line like this, man? I hope the other side like this difficult. Just line, man. 
Dang it. You know, guys, if you got a problem like this, if you have to, use some vice grips. This line has such, got such a, a curve to it. You know, I don't like that. The curve, me. That's, that thing just looks like. You know what, guys, we're gonna bend that. Let me get a screwdriver here. Bend that line up. Oh, you know what? It looks like it's been hit over here because this bracket is separating from the wheel well. So it's been hit. So this line wasn't always like that. Ah, all right. So, well, ah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna check now. Now we're talking. All right, we got that tightened up. And I think, actually, this is dropping a little bit. I wanted to pick that line up a little bit. Let me take that back off and get that situated better. I think the bracket is twisted. Man, I hope the other side is, goes a lot easier than this. <sighs> Alright guys, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're on the right, right hand side. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead, spray that up right there. Then, take my 12 millimeter 3 8 drive. So much better on this side. Let's take that bolt out of there. This is the bolt that's holding on <laughs> holding on the brake hose to the strut assembly. And this is cool. Good thing he got it like that. Look at this hose, man. That hose is really messed up. Well, that is the one we told him he needed. Yeah, man, this was a while ago. How long ago? Like a year or Like so. a year or something. All right, that's cool. That's done. The next thing we're going to do is get our 17 millimeter half inch drive with our one inch uh, wobble extension. And we're going to take off the two... 17 millimeter bolts in the back. I'll try to help you out. Okay, we're gonna go to the bottom one first. One. Two. Now that one's, let me try the hammer trick with this one now. Yo, it did loosen up. You saw that, right? You see that, right? It did loosen up some. We didn't see that. See? See, I'm moving it. I can't help it. It won't come out Sucks. Where's my screwdriver? My screwdriver. See, if you was keeping this brake hose, you wouldn't want to do this. What you laughing for? <laughs> All right, so let's try to hold that up like that. Keep that in place. Now let's get our 10 millimeter line wrench, which is right here. And let's see if this thing will loosen up right now. Oh yeah, yeah buddy. All right, oh, 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 oh. Let's, not, let's not loosen it up all the way. Let's just put that hand tight back. Put that back hand tight. And then we're gonna go down here. Let's set up our caliper with our new brake hose. Go over here. Get out, what the heck? Why the other bolt looked at normal? Hmm. Got our bolt. What, they didn't want to give you new washers? The gaskets are down there. Yeah, that's with the hose. That came with the hose. 
the other one came with it. You notice that? See? See, Sylvia, Sylvia sometimes. What do you mean? Those are not the ones? Huh? What, what do you mean that's for the hole? See, notice how, see how big this bag is? The other bag was bigger, so it had the bolt and the washers with it. This one only came with a bolt. It didn't come with the new. What are those washers for? This came with the uh, other, other. these are for it. I can use these, but these came with the, the, the holes. Where are you supposed to put them on the hole? I don't remember you, know, you doing that on the other side. You know, I, you know, somebody explain it to Sylvia. Explain. I don't remember you putting washers on the hose. Did you? The on the hose when it goes into the caliper. You did? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So just like the other side, we put a washer on it. Put it yeah, through. That. Isn't that what? Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. So I was right. Those are the washers for that. Uh, no, it's not. I'm telling you. <laughs> Okay. Again, just like it's a two-inch extension, right? <sighs> Put these in here, cause this is getting. What's that? I'm just saying. They're gonna be like, no, Sylvia, he's right. But see, they cowards too. They don't tell you when you're wrong too. I'm calling my people cowards. We can't. We can't disagree with Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So we got this bolt right here. We're gonna put that on just a little bit. We're gonna tighten it up, but we're gonna put that on first. So what we're gonna do is go over here. Let's take off this uh, this wire they got right here. Pull this little padding out. Cool. Look at that. Both of them right there in the place. And what we're gonna do here is slide this on. On the other side, you had the. The lug nuts on the way. I know, I sure did. In place. But now nah, I'm not doing that. Well, maybe you should. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe you should. You know what? You you, you aggravate me now. Dang it. Why don't you just put them on, you hard headed? No, okay. Now put that 17 millimeter bolt on top. Dang it, I should have put the bolts in there. <laughs> you know, this is, this is So now you're boring. not going to put them on because you're stubborn. That's right. I and sure you don't want to admit that I'm right. That's right. I am. Well, I'm, I'm not so going to. So now go ahead. Make it hard if you say. I am. That's exactly Good. what I'm doing. Good. Dang it. The heck, man. Time is money. You got to be kidding me. What the heck? Just because he won't be hard headed. Just like a man. That's right. I, I still ain't gonna put him in there. You dang it. Then don't put him on, you sweet rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there we go. We got that fourth bird started. That's right. Let's get our second one in. Now we got the first one in there. The second one should be a lot easier. Ooh. Should be. There we go. Let's grab our 17 millimeter half inch drive with our one inch extension, wobble extension. Go in there and tighten these bolts up. Wait, how long was the extension? One inch. Oh. Get to the top one. Get that one tightened up. Bam. Now, since we got that tightened up, now let's get our 12 millimeter 3 8 drive socket with our 3 8 drive ratchet. And now we go ahead, it makes it a lot easier to tighten this up now. Well, before you did while it was out. Yeah, but this is easier. Oh, but then why did See, you... See, it, go, it goes to show you, like I always say, it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as the end justify the means. But just curious, so why... I don't know, because it's more... I got more leverage on it now, because still, it's, no, but it's steady. No, why would you do it the other way? What do you mean? When it's outside. I don't know. I don't know. Do I, should I have a reason? Oh, good. Oh. Man. There's supposed to be a reason for everything. All right, all right. Let's set this down. Let's get our line over here. Let's get it bolted in place with our 12 millimeter bolt. 
Okay, let's go ahead and tighten that up now. All right. The next thing we'll do, now we're ready to take this out. So what we're gonna do here is get our 10 millimeter wrench because we know our bolts are already loose so we don't need our line wrench no more. So get our 10 millimeter wrench, go up here. Oh yeah, that's really loose. And I guess not loose enough to get the other way, huh? Let's take this bolt out of here. This I gotta turn this thing a little bit at a time like this. All right, the next thing we do, get our needle nose. And we're gonna be popping our clip out. We're gonna grab that clip by the little angle, that little thing right there, wiggle back and forth, pull it right out. Bam, done. Get that down. Got a little bit of fluid coming out. That's all right. So what we're gonna do, I noticed that it was sitting like this when it was going up there. So what we're gonna do here is first, go up just enough to start putting this line in to the holes by hand, by a couple threads. So that way you know you're not cross threading it when you go down there. Now we're gonna twist that thing, twist the line to the holes till it can get locked up in there, like that. Get our clip, push our clip in there, bam, that is good. Now we're going to get our line wrench and go ahead and tighten this up. You want to make sure this is tight, we don't need no leaks. Perfect. Look at that guys. We are good to go. The next thing we're gonna do doing is go ahead and bleed the brakes. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're ready to bleed the brakes. The next thing we're gonna do, you gotta make sure you got enough brake fluid in here. Yeah, if we do. If you didn't, what you wanna do is just pop this cap cap off. It doesn't twist or anything, it just pops right off. And you also want to make sure you get the right brake fluid. There's dot three, dot four, dot five, and you look on the cap and it'll tell you dot three. Customer went and got some dot three brake fluid already. We're good to go. Let's put this up and we got a special treat for you. Sylvia's gonna be bleeding the brakes. We'll be right back. All right, what you're gonna need is a, a 5 16 or 8 millimeter wrench and you have your bleeder uh, screw right here. All right, so uh, for right now, we're just gonna set it up right there. And what we're gonna do is get our assistant yeah, to, buddy. to get in the car. And we're gonna have him uh, push down on the brakes. So what we're gonna do is now, right now, uh, there's no brake fluid right here. So we're gonna do it a quicker way uh, to start out with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it and then have Timmy hold down the brake. Um, all right, well, let me open it first. Okay, all right, push down and hold it. Okay, good. Now let go. All right, so fluid already started coming down. That was pretty quick. So what we're gonna do is, um, all right, so Timmy, pump it down. Pump it down? Oh, pump it up, sorry, <laughs> wrong way. Okay. All right, let, hold it down. Okay. All right, that's a nice little stream, so that, all right. All right, let, let it go. Hmm. And we're gonna do it one more time. Pump it up. All right, hold down. That's pretty good. All right, let it go. All right, we're done on this side. We're gonna do the other side. We'll be right back. Okay, we're on the other side. So we're gonna try this, try this again. Well, not try it again, but we kinda of have to do this again. So put your eight millimeter or five sixteenth wrench right here on the bleeder screw and 
Well, yeah. Get, get in the car. I'm just saving. Oh, jeez. Be just careful. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're going to open it up. This has a little tighter. I might need your muscles. You see? Now I got it. It's over there. See? <laughs> if you yell at me now, that's why I was over there. Well, I, I need muscles. I was going the wrong way? Probably so. Which way were you going? That way. Which way? You were going up? downward? Oh, up? Yeah, that's tightening. Oh, well, that so, would have never worked. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, so let now me I got to go yeah, down? Let me, let me tighten it back up. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I got to go down? Down the loose end. Go ahead. I tighten but it back why up. was it? Okay, it was different on the other side. All right, go go in the car. Oh, you're going to check me out. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got it. Okay, yeah? Yeah. Dad, you want to tell me to go in the car, huh? Go in the car! All right, All right. All right, so we're going to open it up. All right, P uh, push down and hold it. Okay, then you close it before he lets go. Let it go. All right, so see, like, there was this all air in here, so we got to get that air out. So we're going to open it up again. All right, push it down and hold it. All right, and close it. Good. Now, let go. Okay, pump it up. We're going to keep it closed while he pumps it. All right, hold it down. And now we're going to open it. You can see some coming out right there, but we're going to close it. Let go. All right, pump it up. Okay, hold down. Open it up. Whoop. It's ready to go. All right, let go. All right, we're all done. Make sure you put your little dust cover back on it. And that's it. You're all set. We'll be right back. All right, so today we had a 96 Toyota RAV4, and we did uh, front brake pads, calipers, and front brake hoses. So if you guys have any comments or questions, you can post it below in the comment section, or you can email Timmy at tim at astroautorepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.